two minute warning. Good afternoon, Bleed Big Blue Nation. My name is Marco, your host of the Bleed Big Blue podcast. Dedicated coverage of the New York football giants. And I'm already lying to you. It is not good afternoon. It is good evening. It is 10 o'clock on a Wednesday night. I wanted to keep the streak going. I've been uploading daily since about January, maybe even a little before that. I originally recorded something this morning in the car. I didn't like it. I'm scratching it. So now I'm seeing if I could do it tonight and get it out before before midnight. Before I erased my prior recording, it was about Yannick Ngakwe and him flirting with the Giants. I think I'm still going to continue with that. But I'm also seeing rumors that Jason Garrett and Bill Callahan to the Giants are a done deal and the announcement should break tomorrow afternoon. So I will leave that for tomorrow's video. Back to Yannick. I've noticed in my comments, in my DMs, in my Twitter feed that Yannick has been flirting with the New York Giants fans. First, it was a fan's edit of him wearing a Giants jersey, wearing the number 91. And it got to Justin Tuck, and he said it was A-OK with him. So that caught a little buzz. The next day, it was him posting pictures of Lawrence Taylor. And that's happened for the next probably three days. I've seen a total of, I think, three pictures and another fan edit daily from Yannick. So it seems there is interest, at least one way. So a lot of the things line up. Position at need? Check. Do we have free agency money? Check. Does the player want to come here? check is the player in his prime check but the one big problem is that jacksonville is going to give him the tag they said their number one priority this offseason is to re-sign him to a contract and if they can't do that they're going to place a franchise tag on him unless they try to swerve everyone that's what i think they're going to do if that doesn't happen my answer is hell yeah this is a young consistent player always getting sacks, has a knack of knocking the ball out and causing fumbles, plays hard and plays smart, healthy, coming into his prime, but it feels like a big flirt. It feels like a flirt that we're never going to get the date. So unless Jacksonville has a change of heart, I don't see it happening. I think he's going to get the tag. It's a shame because that's a real good player that we could get. We have the money to offer him 20 million plus. It would be a good move. I don't see it happening though. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Number one, do you like the player? Number two, do you think this could actually happen? And I'll be in the comments checking them out and answering you back. So it looks like I'm gonna get this out by 12 midnight and the streak continues. Please give me a sub for that and I'll talk to you all later. Peace. If you wanna see more videos just like this, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. This way when we do a live show or we put out a new video, you get the alert and you're in the know. I love interacting with you guys and keeping this channel growing. So please don't be afraid to like and share. If you would like to help support the channel, we have a line of merch out and you can check out our other social media, affiliates and all that. I left one link in the description down below, so it should make it easy for you. I will see you guys in the comment section, and also I'll leave you with two videos that if you want to check something out, it's on the end screen. Peace.